The historic Big Ten Ballroom in Tulsa is reopening and its owner hopes for a bright future. News on 6's Ryan Gillen takes us to today's ribbon cutting. The Big Ten Ballroom was originally built in 1948 and was a venue for black entertainers attracting big names like Ike and Tina Turner, Ray Charles, and Ella Fitzgerald. It closed in the 1960s. It was a supply warehouse for American beauty products for many years, then was vacant for decades. Lester Shaw bought the building in 2007 and after renovating it, is now ready for its revival as a venue. Cultural tourism is really uh, a, an awesome thing. It's big and you could bring people from all over the world to learn about these artists. And not only that, we want to add our own history to, uh, to what the Big Ten Ballroom uh, has already been. He wants to not only celebrate the history of the famous singers that performed here, but also attract today's popular artists to North Tulsa and inspire young people to get more involved in the arts. We hope that this building will be a, a beacon of light uh, for this community, for Tulsa, and around the world. After meeting Dr. Shaw in 2018, Senator James Lankford stopped by the grand opening to offer his support and congratulate Shaw after years of hard work. Uh, this is an, an amazing turnaround for this facility. Lankford hopes the reopening of the Big Ten Ballroom will bring businesses back to the area. For a long time on this particular street, everybody's been fleeing from this street. This is a reopening of something beautiful here to say we're starting again. So we're inviting the rest of the community to be able to come in. And so that kind of engagement and that kind of activity really makes a big difference for people. Shaw says they are finishing up some small details, but the space is ready for use. In Tulsa, Ryan Gillen, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.